Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show. Welcome to season four episode. Are we in? Yes, season four, episode 25. Welcome, everybody, watching the show here on YouTube and on Spotify. I hope you had a lovely week and weekend of watching football because the football this week was just ecstatic and rumbunctious and stupendous. I am learning my vocabulary from Barney because, hey, Barney's pretty cool, and Barney's got the boom, boom, pow, if you know what I mean. But everybody, welcome to the show. Let me first introduce you to my guest in the show, who is currently a transfer agent in the city of Johannesburg, South Africa. Glad to have him on. Agent Dimitri, how are you, mate? I'm amazing. I'm I'm doing transfers in and out of my account to buy to buy things off of buy Funko Pops. No, it's it's a website. Like it sells fans actually. Oh, fans! I, I I I <clears throat> done a couple orders and I cannot figure out why they're not there. And then well, uh, I don't know. There are people like it. It should be fans, and then mm -hmm. again, like. Yeah, there's a girl's clearly clearly sending me not fans, and that's weird. That's disgusting, actually. That's disgusting behavior. Mm. Yeah, I know. I I want fans, and they 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 sent me this, you know, pictures of of, of, of what yeah. the hell? What the ew? I, I don't know. I'm sorry yeah. about that, but everybody, let's get Come into on. football because football is what they need in life. Because that was what we need, and what you need. So, hey, I'm gonna hit the button in three, two, one. We're going to talk about the breaking news. I am just shuffling right now because I can't find my damn button. And don't you worry about it because crisis. Well, first news is indeed about the major. You're going to like this. Serie A manager sacked for headbutting a player during pitch chaos. So Serie A side this have announced the sacking of manager Roberto de Aversa after shocking headbutt on Hells Verona's Thomas Henry. Liz lost one to nil at home to Verona in a huge relegation. Oh, I can't say that word. Relegation clash with the away side, leapfrogging them to 13th place in the table with the two points clear of them, the bottom three. So things got heating up full time with the French striker Henri at the center of the drama, which seemed to have cooled off. The Averza stormed towards him on the pitch and appeared to have hit button in the face. The striker dropped to the floor and both. He and the Verzia were given red cards as the images were quickly plastered over Italian spring websites. Um, next Saturday, the manager at the head butted said, next Saturday we have another big match and I didn't want my players to be banned. So I went to try and separate them from opponents and then the incident with Henri happened. I've already apologized to Verona's management as a coach and father of three kids. I want to apologize for what happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, they fired up already, so crazy. Um, uh, trailing is injured Zidane and pretty cool. Dimitri, you got one or two words for Mr. Headbutt here. Good headbutt, good headbutt. I like it, I like that. All right, on to the next news. So, the next news is indeed about uh oh, some more spicy action, actually. Um, great, I have two of the same story. Nice. Um, Arsenal manager Mike Miguel Arteta. Accused of insulting Sergio Gonzalez's family before tense altercation with Porto boss. So, the Gunners' um, arsenal advanced to the quarterfinals on the competition with four to two penalty shootout over the Portuguese giants Porto. And after the defeat, the first leg, Arteta said that he won the second leg and extra time with penalty shootout. So, I made the wild celebrations at the Emirates. Images showed Arteta trying to shake Gonzalez's hand, but appearing to get a telling off from the Porto manager instead. Both men were men. Both men were clearly safe, furious, and pulled apart. And it seems that during the game, this is what the Porto manager said, during the game, Arteta turned the bench in Spanish and says, it must be a Spanish coach thing because the same thing with Pep Guardiola, he insulted my family as well too. In the end, I told him to pay attention because... um. Who he insulted is no longer with us, and to worry about coaching his team because, due to individual quality, he has an obligation to do more and better. Build up to the game was dominated by a war of wars between the two bosses and their respective approaches to the little tests. And Arteta criticized the Porto 
was for a low block with no intention of playing and it's opinion they want to play we wanted to win so yeah um arsenal manager said there's no interpretation those are strong words so he didn't actually mean it and yeah um just a bunch of people getting mad about it so don't cuss at the family please that's not nice to make sure you got one or two words for mr angry guy on the screen right here trying to tell him that his mama look really big um i would say um I would say, you know what? <clears throat> yeah. I am all for. Yeah. I am all for it. You know, okay. you do whatever you want to do. Okay. That's and fair. then, <clears throat> and then, like, you know, as long as, you know, the Oscar situation doesn't repeat. Oh, the Oscar, the slap, the Will Smith slap. Keep on the yes. Yes. Mother. Yes. Yeah. So. Yep. As as long as that kind of behavior does not repeat, and you know you can take a joke about you know about it, you can take a joke because I think that Pep Guardiola is really good stand up comedian. So honestly, one of the best. And I'm gonna yeah. give you this for this. Hey five. That's your little, you know, your little good job. Okay, moving on to the next news. It is indeed about another one, which is about Tom Lockyer. If you don't know who this mate is, is Tom Yolkia has told Talk Sports that the hardest thing about not playing football has been, and it's not what you might think. So the Hatter's defender has been sidelined since his cardiac arrest during the game against Bournemouth in December, December which led to the match being postponed. So um, this Wednesday night marks the rescheduled fixture with the Bedfordshire outfit uh, returning to the Vitality Stadium. Luna currently fighting for the lives in the Premier League. And I did watch a bit of the match today, actually, between Luton and Bournemouth. Shame Bournemouth did win that, and it was 4-3 to three for them. But, yeah, um, but yeah, well, what I want to talk about, um, Tom, is but as well as missing the being on the pitch, Luton stayed off relegation. There's another hilarious reason why Lockett is wishing he was still able to train. And he said, I don't, um, he, he said, <laughs> um, he says this, um, I don't think when um, being robbed as a Scott... Okay, so, sorry. I'm uh, I'm just saying this. Speaking to Talk Sport Breakfast ahead of the size clash, the 29-year-old was asked about his boss, Edwards, who has recently been voted the most handsome manager in the Premier League. After he joked with him, and he said that Sean Dice has been robbed, and the Scotsman asked if he thinks the vote will go to the manager's head. Scott um, Tom said, I don't think it will. He will. He is such a humble guy. It's amazing that I heard news bu bulletin early. I was going to bring it up. Actually, that's probably the hardest thing for me throughout this whole thing. You know, I haven't been able to go in every day and see that beautiful face. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, more respect for him and his manager. He thinks he's a handsome guy, and hey, why not? Good for him. Dimitri, well, um, we got one or two words for Mister Handsome Guy talking about his handsome coach. Nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah, that's what I think about it too. Yeah. Okay, that voice is deep. Do another one. Uh, uh, oh, great. Love that. The energy is amazing. All right, let's go on to the next. I know. Good, great. Next to the next one. You. Mm. So, next news is. Uh, that was beautiful. That was the one I needed. So, next news is about, of course, Mr. Thierry Henry. Tete. Footage shows Thierry Henry leaving the room before David Reyes match winning penalty save for Arsenal. And yes, I did see this actually live and it was pretty funny. Arsenal have reached the quarterfinal of the Champions League for the first time in 14 years after being beat, beating Porto on penalties Tuesday night. And Leandro Tosar's first half goal at the Emirates. This is talking about the game, but what we want to talk about is actually what Thierry Henry did. So Jamie Carragher and Michael Richards were hollering in the studio because Henry was nowhere to be seen um, as his old side celebrated victory in the Champions League. Speaking about the moment, Henry said, the way he put down the ball, it looked suspicious to me. So I left. And the Frenchman scored 20... Okay, let's talk about him. But yeah, um, he just literally walked off as they were about to win. I mean, 
go out, out of the not go out qualify to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. But yes, um, I don't know why he did this, but because he guess he just had faith and he is a merchant of faith. Um, okay, that's great. Dimitri, you got one or two words for Mr. Um guy leaving the room while his favorite team takes a penalty and then winning it actually because he has Juju to make it happen. Oh, so like last week I ate the pickle. That was weird tasting and I thought, hmm, maybe, you know, maybe maybe they put something on it. But Honestly. then I also thought that that you know, you know what? Pickles can be pickles and, and I'm like, whatever, you know, be it what so be then it gave me the runs. So Oh, I don't yes. know. Maybe there was something to it, or it was like, um. Is, is this based uh, on anyway? What was what was what was the question? Is this based on true story? Because I know you were sick last week. <laughs> I was uh, talking to a um, to a voice in my head. It said, "Shut up again. We can we can continue." What was the question again? Um, why did Tete leave the room after his team won the penalty shootout? Let me ask the voices. Okay. Uh, you know what? They're awfully silent. That's a nerve, and maybe the medication start working finally. That's but cool. uh, anywho, um, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, they say he left because he was late on a train. I don't know. He was I late. Think, I think you need to go home, get some Cheerios for loops. Maybe that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna go suggest it to the to the people I talk to. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. All right, moving on to the next news crisis. So the next news is indeed about, oh my God. Um, What do you think about this picture, Dimitri? Just one or two words at the moment. Uh, it looks like, um, oh, I see. It's, it looks like, looks like a movie I've, th I've seen with some like popular actress. Uh-uh. No, no, it's it's like um there was there's that movie I think it won Oscars um a couple of years oh, ago like the boss of the gym. Oh, boss of the gym, yes. Yeah, yeah, or or, or something along those lines. So I'm not sure who won over here, but but I yeah I can definitely see how 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 you know how how the guy on the right can 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 lose the title, but I I don't know. It's 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 lost more thing. than the title. <laughs> yes. Okay, if you can't see on the screen, by the way, everybody listening on Spotify and listening on YouTube, it's because you see Marcus Turam and Stefan Savic from Inter Milan and Athletic Madrid, and to the right of that is Vinnie Jones and Paul uh, Giscion in the both in the Champions League, but they're both doing the same pose where Marcus Turam is reaching back and grabbing the groin, I can say that, or the willy of Stefan Javic. And the same thing happening with Vinnie Jones and Paul Gushion. And it's basically the same picture. They're both reaching back and just grabbing the life of the life. That's yeah. Um so I don't really have anything much to say about this, but besides the pictures are relatively very close. And if, <laughs> if you need to look up the picture is actually amazing. That's um yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, if if you want to look up the boss of the gym, that's pretty close to what's happening. Pretty similar, so. actually. You know what? You're right. Um. Hey, Leatherman. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, the leather stories. Two mm -hmm. stories down. Two stories down. Oh. You know, let's settle this. Let's see who's the real boss of the gym. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, moving on. That was indeed the breaking news. And let us now go on to the great time, which is indeed the rest of it, which I just like. We have fun. So the next news is indeed about the Premier League. So let's get into Premier League at the moment. So first place is indeed is Arsenal. Second place, Liverpool. Third place, Manchester City. Fourth place, Austin Villa. First place, Tottenham. 18th place down the table is Luton Town, 19th Burnley, and 20th Sheffield United. Match day 
28. Let's get into it. So, the first match was between Manchester United and Everton. 2 to nil for Manchester United. Great win for them over Everton. Second game, Crystal Palace and Luton Town. Disappointing for Crystal Palace losing that in the last... I mean, not losing, but tying it in the last minute of the game when they had so much dominant possession. But yes, it was 1-1. to one. Bournemouth and Sheffield United, 2-2. Two to two. Tie there. Oh yeah, Wolves and Fulham. 2-1 to one for Wolves. Great job for them. Bringing them to ninth of the table. Arsenal, Brentford, 2-1. to one. Great win for them. But still shaky game, but yes, great job for Arsenal. Austin Villa and Tottenham, nil to four for Tottenham. You have great win for them, especially the second half spattering Austin Villa and Red Cup Austin Villa being naughty naughty. West Ham United and Burnley, two to two, a draw there. Brighton and Nottingham Forest, one to nil for Brighton. Liverpool, Manchester City, a great game here, but didn't take the chances when they had both teams. One to one, a tie there. Great win for, I mean, that benefited Arsenal because they were in first place. Then Chelsea and Newcastle, 3-2. to two. But Chelsea, great win for them, but did give up some goals. But they are still mid-table and a mid-team. Yep. Going on to now La Liga. So La Liga, currently first place is Real Madrid. Second place is Girona. Third place is Barcelona. Fourth place is Atletico Madrid. Fifth place is Atletico. Going down the table, 18th place is Cadiz. 19th place is Granada. 20th place is Armea. Actually, 28. Let's get it. Barcelona and Mallorca. 1 to 0 for Barcelona. Great one for them. Could have been better, but yes, decent. Valencia and Getafe. 1 to 0 for Valencia. Cadiz and Atletico Madrid. 2 to 0 for Cadiz. And shaky for Atletico Madrid, definitely. Granada and Real Sociedad. 3 to 2 for Real Sociedad. Great one for them. A great match as well. Girona and Ashwana. 2 to 0 for Girona. Great win for Girona. Alves and Real Vecano. 1 to nil for Alves. Great win for them. Las Palmas and Atletico Madrid. Oh, Athletic Group JK. Nil to two for Athletic Group. Great win for them. Breaking them back up to fifth place. Real Madrid and Celta Vigo. 4 to nil for Real Madrid. Battery. Celta Vigo in Madrid. So, great win for Real Madrid. Real Patez and Villarreal. 3 to two for Villarreal. Red cards for both teams, but great game here as well. Armea and Sevilla. 2-2, two to two, a draw there. And yeah, that was a great time in the La Liga. And now we can move on to Serie A with Italians and Bipti Bapti. First place is Inter Milano. Second place is Eti Milano. Third place is Juventus. Fourth place is Bologna. Fifth place is Roma. Moving down the table, 18th place is Rezzonone. 19th place is Sassuolo. And then sinking, Salernitana in 20th place. Match 28, let's get into it. Napoli, Torino. One to one and draw there. Second game, Shashwalo and Fresanone. One to nil for Shashwalo beating Fresanone, them sinking down to the table. Caglieri, Sanantana, four to two for Caglieri. And yeah, great win for Caglieri. Uh, Bologna in Inter Milano, nil to one for Inter Milano beating Bologna at their home. Great game here as well, too, but Inter Milano still holding up first place. Genoa in Monza, three to two for. Monza, great win for them. Great game, actually. This and Verona, nil to one for Verona. And a red card for Verona, big naughty, but still getting that win. AT Milano and Empoli, one to nil for AT Milano. Great win for them as well, too. Then Juventus and Atalanta, two to two, a draw there. But not good for Juventus, but good for Atalanta. Uh, Florentino and Roma, two to two. Another not good win for, I mean, not good draw. For both teams, but decent for Roma. I mean, decent for Volta. Lazio and Udinese, 2 to 1 for L Udinese. JK got you on your toes. And a red card for Udinese being naughty, but bringing them up to 13th place. Dimitri, got anything you want to say about Italy or just Syria in general? Ud. Oh, love Italy. Okay, beautiful. What's your favorite thing about Italy? Uh, it's the cheese, you know, like they were, um, stinky. What was that a uh, cartoon, uh, about the mice? SpongeBob, no, 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 there were two chipmunks. Oh, oh, and, and they were Chip and Dale, mm -hmm. Chip and Dale. There you go. And there was a guy, mouse, he was big and he liked cheese, so it's kind of like when 
That's a, he kind of like me when I see cheese. Also, there was a mouse that was a female. And, a mouse. oh, man, like, yeah, like, like I want her only fans. <laughs> you want her fan? Like, what type of fan do you want? Like a handheld or, you know, ceiling one or... I'd opt in for handheld, yeah. Um, maybe like... something that she can place on the top. Oh, okay. Um, would be nice too, but That's you know, I'd be down for a very, very classical fan as well. You awesome. know, nice. anything from the you know female now. She she was uh my um yeah my go to when I was a kid. So great. Lovely to hear about furry experiences. All right, moving on to a next league. Which <laughs> no, is no, 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 it's it's nothing like that. It's, no, no, it's, it's okay. I it's, support. It's, okay, maybe a little bit. Don't you worry about it. But, I got you. Mate. You know, you know, she reminds me of like uh of the rabbit from Zootopia, like same kind of vibes. Oh my god! I'm happy for you. I'm gonna throw you a party. Yeah. I'm gonna throw you a party <laughs> with bunny ears and tails. <laughs> Okay, moving on yeah. to the Bundesliga. First place is Bayern Leverkusen, still. Second place is Bayern München. Third place is Stuttgart. Fourth place is Dortmund. Fifth place is Leipzig. And sixth place is Eintracht Frankfurt. Sixteenth place down the table is Köln. Seventh place Mainz. And eighteenth place is Darmstadt. Match day 25, let's get into it. So, for match day 5, I think this was... One second, let me... Nope, that's... I just did a bad thing. Did I already say about this? Did I put this in correctly? No, it's correct. Yeah, JK. So, Stuttgart, Union Berlin, 2 to 0 for Stuttgart. Game win for them. Red card for Union Berlin, Bayern Munich, Gladbach, and Köln, Bayern Munich, Gladbach. Said that too fast. And Köln, 3 to 3, but a great game here. Leipzig and Darmstadt, 2 to 0 for Leipzig. Great win for them. Bayern and Mainz, 8 to 1 for Bayern, battering Mainz. Yikes, that was a deadly. Augsburg and Heidenheim, 1-0 for Augsburg. Great one for them. Better Bremen and Dortmund, 2-1. And a red card for Dortmund being very naughty. Bringing them up to Champions League date again. Bochum and Freiburg, 2-1 for Freiburg. Great for them as well. Eintracht Frankfurt and Hoffenheim, 3-1 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Great win for them as well too, but a red card for Hoffenheim being naughty naughty. Leverkusen and Wolfsburg, 2-0 well, they have continuing their run of yet no surprises per red card. Wolfsburg being naughty, naughty. Dimitri, you got anything Germany you want to talk about? Uh, in Germany? Yeah, thinking about that. I'm still, I'm still, you know, um, trying to still... Google that. What's, what, what was her name of the mouse? Are you still thinking of the, the mouse from Chip and Dale? Yeah, I'm actually Googling. There are a lot of people that do cosplay and stuff. It's it's pretty fancy. Oh, my God. Know? Okay, moving on to League One. You can have fun while you're doing that. Um, League One. Uh, first place is PSG. Surprise. Second place is Brest. Third place is Monaco. Third, fourth place is Lille. Fifth place is Lens. Down the table. Sixteen place is Nantes. Seventeen place is Metz. And eighteen place is Clermont Foot. Match 25. Let's get into it. So, first game is Nice and Montpellier. 2-1 to one for Montpellier. Great mm -hmm. result for them. What the hell just happened? What? Oh. Um, okay, moving on. I didn't hear anything. Second <laughs> game is Lyon. <laughs> Lyon. 2-0 for Lyon. Len and Brest. 1-0 for Len. PSG Reim. 2-2. Two two. Not a good result for PSG, but doesn't matter because they're already ahead. Metz and Clermont Foot. 1-0. For Mets, Strasbourg and Monaco, <laughs> bless you. Nil to one for Monaco, Lealbi and Toulouse, one to nil for Lealbi, then Lille and Friend, two to two, and a tie there. Marseille and Nantes, two to nil for Marseille, great one for them. Moving on to the MLS and Saudi Pro League, because we care, Bel Messi and Ronaldo. First place is Inter Miami currently, with four matches played in. They got two wins, one draw, one loss. Yeah, that's great. Very good. Then Saudi Pro League with Al Nassar and Ronaldo. They are currently in second place. And with Al Hilal above them with Mahrez over there. And then Al Alid Saudi uh, right below them with St. Maximan. Then Benzema with Al Etihad within Golo Kante. In fourth place. All right. 
moving on to now the great time, which is indeed the Champions League. Boom, boom, boom. We just had the quarterfinals just finished, and the teams that qualified were indeed Arsenal and Porto. Arsenal qualified, Napoli, Barcelona. Barcelona qualified, Paris and Real Sociedad, shocker, Paris qualified, Inter and Atletico Madrid, oof, Atletico Madrid qualified, PSV, Eindhoven, and Dortmund, Dortmund qualified, Lazio and Bayern Munich, shaky, but Bayern Munich did qualify, um, Copenhagen and Manchester City, Man City did qualify, and then Leipzig and Real Madrid, Real Madrid did qualify with them as well. Moving on to results, and that, we'll just talk about the recent matches. So Arsenal and Porto, it was one to nil for Arsenal, but in the wait, I don't even get this. It's one to nil for them. So I guess yeah, aggregate wise, whatever. But yeah, um, it was one to nil, and then it was one to nil at away. But yes, they went to penalties, and Arsenal won. Four to two on penalties, but David Raya, the Arsenal keeper, saved two penalties. Great work for them. We talked about this. Jerry Henry walked ahead because he knew what was going to happen. Arsenal did qualify. Then Barcelona and Napoli. Barca with three to one, winning four to two on aggregate, winning Napoli. And it was in Barcelona. So, yeah, great win for Barcelona. Then Dortmund and PSV. Two to nil for Dortmund. Easy win for them. And yeah, PSV out. Atletico Madrid enter another game that was so tense with aggregate being two to two, but Atletico Madrid winning three to two on penalties. And yes, Oblak coming up with big saves again, the keeper. So yeah, um, and the draw is going to be on, I believe, this coming Friday or whenever I release this episode. So we will see who will play. Now moving on to Europa League, and stuff did indeed happen, and there's going to be some more games on this thursday and yes that's going to decide a lot because um currently uh slavia praha in milan it's four to two for milan rangers benfica two to two a draw there i would get with via real in marseille it's four to nil for marseille west ham and freiburg one to nil for freiburg uh atalanta and sporting was been one to one right in roma four to nil for roma leverkusen and Kraberg. 2-2, two to two, very tense this past game, but Leverkusen did tie that in the last minute of the game. Liverpool and Sparta Braha, 5-1 to one for Liverpool. And yeah, a lot of the games that you don't see coming back, but it is with this. All right, moving on to now, favorite time, which is indeed the football memes of the week brought to you by Ravel Ventures. And yes, we'll see the first meme. And the first meme is indeed about Arsenal fans. Arsenal fans, I'm sorry, but Manchester United, you have that one night in Moscow where you won the Champions League. Great. Liverpool, you have that one night in Madrid where you won that beautiful, beautiful trophy in Madrid. Chelsea has that one night in Porto where they won that beautiful, beautiful trophy in Porto versus Man City. Then Man City have that one night in Istanbul where they won that beautiful trophy in Istanbul. Then Arsenal, they have that one night in the round of 16 heart face emoji, heart face emoji. Oh my god. But hey, it's not over yet, and you never know. Good job, Arsenal, for finally going on to pass the round of 16 for once. Great job. All right, moving on to the next meme, which is indeed about <laughs> Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, someone tweeted this. His dribbling is, in fact, at par with Ronaldinho, the greats, Vigo, Messi, Ronaldo, I don't know Ronaldo, but Bill Foden, the GOAT. But it's finishing. It's a picture of Romelu Lukaku, Lukaku, who cannot shoot to save his life, at least for Chelsea, but still being in goals for Roma. Great job for him. But yes, Luis Diaz uh, needs to work on his fishing. That's all I gotta say. Moving on to the next meme, which is indeed about Atletico Madrid and Inter Milano. As we saw in Inter Milano's last penalty game, we didn't know that Thar Martinez died the damn ball. I think he slipped a little bit, but yes, the ball ended up in outer space next to Messi's Copa America ball, Neymar's Colombia ball. And Kane's World Cup ball. So, yes, it's uh, floating there in the moon with Shrek. Because Shrek is love, Shrek is light. Isn't that right, Dimitri? Oh, yeah. We all love Shrek. But What's your favorite, um, What's your favorite thing about Shrek? Favorite character. Uh, and about there is it's actually the dragon. She kind of hot. Like, I would say she is my, like, um, the favorite out of, you know, my character list. 
where's the first one being the uh, mouse from Chippendale? She is, you know, really on top of my list. Um, Who are you talking about, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. Was, um, do you have your screen pulled up, possibly? <laughs> yes, that's that's her. Do you, do you, do you know who this is? Do you, what what's her name? Yeah, you know what's her name, but I, I don't remember it. And, and... her name is her her name is. Gadget Hackwrench. Hackwrench, yep. That's, Is that what that's... you want? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Because without sharing, how else are you going to know that? Why don't you just cosplay once in a while as Messi, as Ronaldo, as Gadget Hackwrench. Or, you know, that's just a random name. Or just, you know, maybe just your mom, your dad, your If your dad's gone, just dress up as your mom. If your dad's gone, if your mom's gone, dress up as your dad. If they're both gone, dress up as Shades because Shades is me and I'm happy with you. And I do love you and I can always talk to you if you need anything. That is for real. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, Dimitri, thank you so much for joining as well too. We had a lot of interesting conversations today. Okay, you're welcome. You are such a nice person. Love that. Um, Everybody, as we say in three, two, one, one, one love, love football. Heck range. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.